All right. Hi guys. How's it going? So today I am sharing with you my skincare, what I do for my skin. Uh, I guess I should have brought like what I use to, to clean my skin, but that one is just, uh, like any kind of sensitive body wash. I'll use the same to wash my face, anything that's sensitive. So I have the off brand, um, what is that like Dove, off brand Dove for a really sensitive skin. The one from uh, Walmart, the great value. I'll use that and it has worked uh, really good for quite a few years. I've been using that one. But for my skin, I used to just use, uh, this right here is Neutrogena and it's body oil, sesame seed oil. And I get the, I think there's a, yeah, a light. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of hard to see, but the light sesame, light sesame formula. That's what it says. All right. So after my shower, what do I do? I put body oil, my face, the whole body. And then there for a while, I started using coconut oil. So I would do the Neutrogena um, body oil. Then I would do the, the coconut oil. And that seemed to work okay for a while because I'll get really like dry skin and I'll get dry patches, eczema, allergies, all kinds of stuff like that. So my skin is really sensitive and just any little thing can like not really make it break out. I don't really break out anymore. Um, it's mostly like dry patches that I'll get like my skin will, will have little areas. It's just, I guess it's eczema. And then I discovered CeraVe. I discovered this maybe, I don't know, I say a few years ago. And my gosh, this thing works wonders, wonders, you guys. It's a really thick cream. I just got this one. Um, so it's a really thick cream, like it's not going anywhere. And I don't know if you guys have ever had this, but I guess I shouldn't have got that much. I don't want to put it back in there. Um, I'll just lather it on. But yeah, I tried the, the lotion, but I get the cream now. The cream works wonders. So I was using this one for quite a while. And I've showed this to you before, um, like what my minimalist hygiene products are, or like uh, shower hygiene, whatever kind of products. I've showed that one to you before. Also the, the sesame seed oil. And then the, the coconut oil, I believe I've shown all that to you before, but I started trying this one here. It says SA cream. I don't know if that's psoriasis. I don't know what SA actually is, but it has rough and bumpy skin. So I figured I would give it a try. This one's more expensive than, than just the, the CeraVe one, um, that just has the moisturizing cream. This one has like. I guess extra chemicals in there but those two have worked wonders like you it's it's really I think it's for sensitive skin too and like it doesn't leave anything greasy it's just really soft and like um, so whenever I get a shower and you know you wash your body and everything before you put the soap when you start wetting it, you can feel like kind of like a layer on there. It's not greasy. It's not a poor clogging or anything like that, but you can kind of feel like a very soft film or something very, I don't know. It's kind of weird to explain, but it, it works wonders. It moisturizes your skin a lot. And I guess I, I should have started out with the reason why I'm making this video is because I get asked, so what kind of face cream I use, um, if I have anything for wrinkles or if I have any like special creams or anything like that. And I don't, I just use the CeraVe, like this right here. That's all I've been really using. I don't really bother too much. And then of course this one, I think when you have really dry skin, this helps quite a bit. But other than that, if I just had to pick the one, it would be either one of these just this basic one, unless you have like really bumpy skin, I would just use the, the moisturizing cream, 
Like this, this would be my go-to. Like that's it. That's all I would need after a shower. Like from head to toe, everything. Just lather up with that, and you're good all day. Now, of course, with your hands, you know, you you wash your hands or you clean or you do whatever, and then you gotta kind of reapply. I do anyway, and um, you know that's that's what I would recommend if I only could pick the one. I would pick this one, just the the cream, not the lotion, the cream. And I don't know, have you guys tried that before? I know I've uh, mentioned it before. I don't know if you guys have tried it. Uh, there's other ones that are, I think it's Cetaphil that I was recommended back way back when, like my my teenage early twenties. I was recommended that because it was like. Uh, really sensitive for your skin and I did have like acne and different um, skin issues but like that one didn't seem to do anything um, I had to end up taking a, like an actual pill to help with my acne when I was like 16 17 something like that and um, but other than that I've just been using like really thick and sensitive lotion that's all I use like for my skin too it's the same thing I just would like grab a finger full or a handful and just like put it all over. Just like, <laughs> that's pretty much all I do. That's my anti-aging wrinkle cream, <laughs> moisturizing, whatever kind of treatment. I know it's not the correct one for it, but that's all I use, you guys. I don't use anything special. Like that one right there really does the trick for like everything. Just head to toe, just lather it up and you will feel the difference. You will see the difference, you will feel the difference. I don't know, people like will give me compliments that the skin looks really like, really, I don't know, soft, nice, I don't know. But it does, it does this one right here. If you need extra, extraness, then <laughs> this one for more of a rough and bumpy skin, more like flaky skin, this will help you quite a bit too. But to me, this one has like a, just a slight chemical smell and this one doesn't. So I don't know what they put in this, in this one right here, but I mean, it, it does fine. When I first started using this one, it would seem to like be really harsh on my skin, on my face, uh, not my body, but like my actual face. I would, I, I would just feel something different. Maybe now I'm used to it, I just put it on and it's fine, but I can still smell like more of a chemical smell. And then this one I bought today and I don't smell, I don't really smell anything. It just smells like, like a sensitive blah type of lotion, like hardly any smell. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this one if you guys have really dry skin, eczema, any, any kind of skin issues and you have like need for a sensitive lotion this one is really really good and i think it was like 14 something almost 15 dollars um, at walmart today so what's today sunday sunday the 21st of may so i don't know what it would be in other stores or your city town whatever but 15 to 20 dollars is what you're going to be looking at for for this CeraVe so yeah you guys and of course another thing that helps stay hydrated drink a lot of water green smoothies definitely help but as far as my like skincare this is it right here this is what I use <laughs> CeraVe this is exactly what I use daily right here. And I highly recommend all of these products. But like I said, if I just had to pick the one, it would be this one. And if I could pick two, then it would be these two right here. A lot of people that I have recommended the Neutrogena Sesame Seed Body Oil, they, not all of them, but some of them will complain that it smells like an old lady which I could care less if it works for my skin and it, and I don't smell like an old lady, <laughs> but if it works for my skin and it moisturizes instead of having like more dry patches and scaly look, then I'm going to use it. I don't care, but I don't think it smells bad at all. 
at least not on me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about anybody else, but I put that on, then I put the cream, the CeraVe cream, and I'm good to go. Like, yeah, anyway, you guys, so this right here is exactly my skincare routine, what I use on a daily basis. So if you guys were one of those that have been curious, are curious, have been curious, I know some of you ladies have asked me before, but you know, if you were curious and wanted to know, this is it right here. That's what I use. So I won't really use the coconut oil as much anymore. I'll use it on occasion. And um, I only bought this one because I wanted to try it. The one for like the rough and bumpy skin. So I bought this one to try it and it does seem to to help, you know, super moisturize your skin. But it does have a like a slight chemical smell that I can smell. I don't know if everybody else can smell it, but I can. So that's kind of a little hard to get used to. It smells like lotion, but then to me it has that that like kind of like when you eat something and it has like that after aftertaste. It's kind of like that with me anyway. I don't know if other people can smell it, but I can. But yeah, this is this is the one. This is my go-to. I've been using this one for quite a few years. Uh, maybe three plus years I've been using this one. And I love it. Now this one, on the other hand, I've been using for, uh, gosh, when was it? Maybe since like 2008, 2009, I've been using this. And I, I like it. I like it. Now this won't keep your, your skin moisturized all day long, but it, do, it does help because I really had um, extremely dry skin and it would look, to me, I would think it would look like like fish scales sometimes. It would get so dry, especially wintertime, it would get really dry. And I would resemble like fish scales, I don't know. And I started using this one. I was recommended this one from another lady and wow this made a difference along with like putting some other lotion after you get a shower you put this on and it made it made the difference so since like 2008 2009 i've been using it so you know i i approve <laughs> and then like i said three years ago i discovered the cerave and i can't go back to to just regular lotion it just doesn't cut it it doesn't moisturize it doesn't stay moisturized you know you have to with those other ones you have to keep putting it on at least two three times during the day because i really have like you know the the dry sensitive skin so i just can't use anything if i do i'll try it and i'll get more itchy or whatever but like yeah you guys so like i said um this would be my go-to if i could pick two it would be these two right here so right after you get your shower, you know, you pat dry and then you put, at first I put the body, body oil and then I go over it with the, the moisturizing cream. So these two would be my top pick. If you guys are um, wanting to try anything to help like really severe dry skin, eczema, um, dry patches, anything like that, I recommend those two. If anything, if you're, you feel like, cause Cora gets a little bit like, uh, sensitive to this one on her face she'll break out so she'll get a little rashy so you know kind of be leery about that um this one is not it's not for sensitive skin or anything like that it's just a a regular like scented type of deal but if you have to pick one and you're like very sensitive skin and you need a lot of moisture this is this is my recommendation for you guys the cerave yeah so all right you guys i hope you have a wonderful rest of your sunday and i will talk to you guys on the next one bye guys thanks so much for watching dia's frugal life if you enjoy the content make sure to subscribe for more future videos you can also join and be part of our coffee club we would love to have you Thanks for all the love and support.